वर्णिवे शर्मणीयदर्शन मंदहासुचिराननाबुज पूजित सुरनरोतमेर्मुदा धर्मनंदनमहम विचित श्री हरिकृष्ण महाराज ने जय ऑल माइटी सुप्रीम लॉर्ड भगवान स्वामीनारायण अवर पूज्य गुरुजी पूज्य भगत जी एंड ऑल ऑफ यू डिओटी माय हम्बल जय स्वामीनारायण टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट लास्ट बट नॉट लिस्ट द टाइप ऑफ डिवोशन एंड दैट इज आत्मनिवेदनम the word atmanivedanam itself declare its meaning atma means self or the soul and nivedanam means dedication when a devotee offer all of his possession all of his wealth all of his intellect all of is even virtue unto the feet of bhagwan that is atma nivedanam he surrender everything to the god he even cannot think in his mind about his life and dedicate everything to the god for the use of god or the use of sun this is what atmanivedanam means self dedication first of all just think if somebody has 100 dollar in his pocket out of 100 if one don it 50 dollars no doubt he has given 50 dollars in donation but still it is said only half of his dedication because he has still remain another 50 dollars in his pocket if bhagwan or sant requires 50 dollars and he has given his 50 dollars but as he has another 50 dollars with him that means he has not fully dedicated he has dedicate only half of his possession but when if you have only 100 dollars and you dedicate Hundred out of hundred for the use of Bhagwan and Santo, that is hundred percent dedication. Because you have not even keep even a single dollar with you, and you have surrender everything to Bhagwan. But just think, if as a newcomer duty or a fresh duty or even we have passed some years in satsang but still we cannot develop this type of devotion and yet if we re- desire in our mind to develop this type of devotion for that there is two steps because everything develop gradually one cannot directly reach on 100 stair if we want to reach third floor we have to pass first floor then second floor and then we can reach on third floor similarly this atmanivedanam devotion this type of devotion is not the easy one 
as we have seen earlier uh, there are eight types of devotion that is not too tough but this type of devotion is very tough one who is become very master very proficient in offering bhakti of other eight types then one can have a little bit part of this devotion that that is atmanyayadanam because in this devotion we have not to think even for our own life our own future what will be if i give everything to bhagwan such questions are not even by mistake come in the mind of devotee who has possessed this atmanivedanam atmanivedanam bhakti for this type of devotion bhagwan swami narayan has described its method and characteristics in siksha patri bhagwan has written the name of king ambris who offered this kind of devotion to bhagwan let us see after describing the matter matter of worshiping bhagwan in early morning then after bhagwan narrated the method of mansi puja then bhagwan says my disciples who are like ambris have dedicated their lives completely to lord shall also similarly go through all procedure of worship of bhagwan unto the mental worship in this verse 55 in siksha patri bhagwan has described how to do offer devotion to bhagwan like ambris bhagwan says such devotee have dedicated their lives completely for the form of bhagwan here who is ambris ambris was a king in ancient time but he is not merely a king like another kings even after being a king when he offer every day his devotion to bhagwan he worship the form of bhagwan he used to do every activity related to bhagwan himself he had so many servants but still when it is talk about the worshiping god he perform every chore for himself he pick up flowers from gardens himself then he himself make a garland of flowers and offer it to bhagwan actually when we see he had no need to do such things because he had so many servants to help him his servants can also picked up flowers he also arranged beautiful garments for him to offer it bhagwan he has so many cooks in his kitchen to make very delicious food dish so that king can offer to bhagwan but king amris used to do every activity for bhagwan he himself perform everything this is what one of the characteristic of such kind of devotee who has possessed atmanivedanam then bhagwan says in another word another verse of siksha patri bhagwan says 
then such kind of devotee shall offer food to bhagwan and then shall partake of it as his prasad they shall thus with love always remain in service of bhagwan so such kind of devotee first offer everything what he want to consume or use for himself first it offer to bhagwan so first step to attain this devotion is whatever we attain whatever we purchase whatever we even offer by someone whatever the thing may be whether it clothes food item not pen book or whatever the thing may be but when we have a new thing in our hand we have to offer it first to bhagwan then as a prasad of bhagwan we had we can use those things so that we cannot buy we cannot merge in such things by our might our mind can remain free so in this way our first step is to offer bhagwan whatever we have we cannot even dedicate everything to bhagwan but let we start with this first step when we purchase any new thing we should always remember that this is not of mine this is of bhagwan bhagwan has given me money so that i can purchase this thing and so if bhagwan bhagwan cannot grant me to live on this earth how can use how can i use this thing so this is not of my use this is use for, uh, this is this thing is for bhagwan in this way with such kind of sentiment we should offer it first to bhagwan then the same thing we can use for ourselves in this way see worldly people also use a new book a new pen a new knot a new clothes delicious food dish but they are merely just enjoying the sensual pleasure but for the duty of god he is also using a new cloth new pen new book new knot or anything but when he offer such things first to bhagwan then his using i mean his uses of such thing become devotion because he had first offer such things to bhagwan in this way we can transfer our daily activity into the form of devotion then when we master this first step we should go for the next step this first step is very minor but it is we should not ignore it because even reaching on the top on the highest position of spirituality even when we observe life of our puja guru ji we can find so many incidents in his life that whatever we give him he first offer it to bhagwan just like king amrish king amrish also used to do everything himself for bhagwan 
similarly even in his very very busy schedule guruji himself worship his hari krishna maharaj every day in the morning he had so many other saints who can assist him to service of bhagwan but still he himself perform puja of bhagwan himself not only this but many a times we have seen when we offer him any food item then he mostly ask have you offered it to bhagwan this is what his devotion because he has dedicated his everything his even his self so even after a person who had attained the top position in spirituality if he also perform this first step then how can we forget to observe this first step of atmanivedanam devotion this is not tough for us this is very easy without any hesitation without any problem we can perform this first step of this devotion we can perform easily so let we decide today not to consume not to use anything first but offer such thing first to bhagwan then next step what is the next step next step is surrender everything because what is of us just think this body this body is also given us to bhagwan uh, given us by bhagwan bhagwan has given us this body even our intellect is also given to us by bhagwan we can see merely by the wishes of bhagwan without his desire we cannot speak or listen we cannot see without his desire nobody can live on this earth so whatever we have everything of bhagwan even we have much wealth property possession more money this everything these materialistic things are also given us by bhagwan no doubt we have practice much more to, for attaining such materialistic things but without desire of bhagwan without power given to us by bhagwan how can we practice anything if bhagwan has not given us such intellect then how can we even do the job and without doing job how can we attain money wealth property so everything we has that is not of us but of bhagwan so it is not like that i have 100 dollars and i have to turn it 100 dollars but this is not of mine even though i have 100 dollars in my pocket but that is not my possession the the owner the proprietor of my wealth my possession my even intellect my mind my knowledge the real owner of such things is bhagwan so everything possessed by bhagwan so 
we have to do, what we have to do, we have to offer his own thing to him. But who can perform this second step? Somebody may ask, without offering everything to God, if we something remain for us, then, then what happened? Just consider an example. Just Bhagwan has given this example in the Vachanamrut. If there are five persons here and everybody's everybody even see cannot see. They have no vision to see. Then the five persons are they they are blind by their birth and suppose they have they cannot recognize an elephant and if all those persons are given to chance recognize an elephant then what happened if someone just merely touching his hand on the stomach side of elephant then he may say that elephant is like a wall. One who touch merely a tail of an elephant, then he says, elephant is like a tail. When somebody just touch the feet of elephant, then he says, elephant is like a pillar. In this way, a person who come in contact of which your limbs of an elephant, he describe elephant like that. What is the meaning of this example of describing an elephant? If we have dedicated only a half part of our life, we cannot be called a staunch or perfect duty. Just like those persons who had only touched one or two parts of an elephant and described an elephant according to their own experience. In this way, if we dedicate, dedicate our a part of our life, then that is not our full devotion. But if we offer totally our life for the use of Bhagwan, for the Santo, then that will become a hundred percent devotion. That is our pure dedication. In Vachnam Vachnamrut 61 of Gada first chapter, Sri Maharaj has described a story of King Bali. He had surrendered everything to Bhagwan. Bhagwan has asked only three, three steps from him. Even though the King Bali knew that this is not an ordinary person, this is Bhagwan himself. And he his step is not like mine or yours. But as Bhagwan is divine, his step is also divine. But what is in conclusion? Bhagwan himself surrendered to King Bali. First, King Bali surrendered to Bhagwan. He has given everything his possession, wealth, everything, even his life to Bhagwan. Then what happened? In result, 
भगवान हिमसेल्फ भगवान हिमसेल्फ बाइंड बाय वेर थीन रोप रोप इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डेडिकेशन दैट इज डेडिकेशन दैट इज द आत्मनिवेदनम ऑफ किंग बलि for this if we desire to attain such kind of devotion in our life we have to practice set s a t what is this s a t s means our speech a means action and t means thought when we offer these three things to bhagwan that will become our fully de- dedication we whenever we speak we speak only about god for the god for describing his form to glorify his form his creature his sadhu his devotee whenever we perform any activity that become god related even then after what we think in our mind our thoughts also become related to god then our life automatically change and even though we perform worldly activities but still we become a 100 percent devotee and as a result even though we performing worldly activities but that will also become a devotion for us because we have surrendered our mind means our thought our action and our speech to god for this maharaj says in 11th vachanamrut of gurudev second chapter maharaj says no doubt the two types of person one is enjoying merely worldly activities worldly pleasures worldly sensual praises and another person who is the devotee of bhagwan he also performing worldly activities and enjoying worldly vices but still there is vast difference between the activities of duty of god and the activities of a non believer how well all activities of a non believer are for pampering his indriyas whereas all activities of duty of god are solely for serving god and his duties as a result the duties activities are a form of bhakti in this way if one has dedicated his speech his action and his thought to the god then all of his action become a form of bhakti his activities are not merely like a non believer but his each and every action become a type of devotion whether he speak something whatever he speak but automatically his speech become a devotion whatever kind of activity he perform his every action become a form of devotion whatever he think he cannot think besides the form of bhagwan besides the glory of bhagwan besides the glory of his devotee so his thought also his thought means his mind his mind will also become dedicated to the god in this way his whole not body not only his intellect but in actual fact his own soul his self become 100% dedicated to god and so in this way his life itself become a form of devotion in this way 
when we perform when we gradually increase the types of devotion in our life one day surely we will become 100 percent devotee or speak or words become a part of devotion or each and every action perform only for the pleasing bhagwan and santo even our mind will think only and only for the form of bhagwan and his glory of bhagwan and glory of his sadhu and devotee in this way we have discussing about devotion what is the devotion what what is the types of devotion we have discussed nine types of devotion and in last it is not described but in the scripture it is said that another type of devotion that is the tenth type of devotion that is mostly we say a uh, prem lakshana bhakti so what is the devotion in shortly we should discuss it here what is prem lakshana bhakti when a person or devotee offer this nine of nine type of devotion to god then as a result of this devotion bhagwan himself give one thing in the intellect of the devotee and due to this divine intellect one can offer prem lakshana bhakti according to vachanamrut according to the principle of maharaj one who has prem lakshana bhakti that devotee becomes very staunch in his devotion that if bhagwan or his sant may perform any kind of action any kind of worldly or materialistic activity actions but the devotee has fully dedicated his mind his faith his soul for the form of bhagwan so he even see those human like action of bhagwan as a divine so by observing divinity in each and every action of bhagwan the devotee even cannot by mistake find any kind of flow in the any incidents of the life from the life of bhagwan in this way we have discussed today atmanivedanam bhakti in the time of sri ji maharaj there are so many such kind of devotee we know about dada khachar who has surrendered everything whatever he had for the use of Bhag- sri ji maharaj and his santo then after we also n- know the incident of the life of surakhachar when his safe is stolen and still his wealth means his money is not sto- was not stolen and when he re- regain all all of his wealth then he had fully dedicated for the use of bhagwan and santo and bhagwan has celebrated a big sakotso in loya there are other also devotees there are so many devotees at the time of sri ji maharaj but we should know we should consider the best example for this devotion is of dubre bhat 
Dubdi but was a very very poor fellow. He was a very staunch devotee of Bhagwan Swami Narayan, but he has no more money. Even he has no option what to eat next day. He has to beg for every time, even to eat properly. But by doing labor job, he had only thirteen coins. But when Bhagwan Swaminarayan was built a great temple in Gajda at the time. The other devotees, most of the devotees, offer Bhagwan. Somebody offer five hundred rupees. Somebody offer five thousand rupees. Somebody offer two hundred rupees. Somebody offer thousand rupees. In this way, every devotee, one by one, gradually, come to Sri Ji Maharaj and offer. for the newly constructed temple and lastly dubdi but was in the assembly but he was sitting in large last row because we know even today one who has no much more money even one who is poor who is beggar is always sitting after the assembly or in the last row of the assembly same dubri bhat was also sitting in the last row of the assembly but as his turn is come with much fear he gradually crosses to sri ji maharaj but he cannot dare to give and he merely touching the lotus feet of bhagwan he just written but bhagwan knew what is his sentiment bhagwan knew his dedication so bhagwan himself asked from him dubdi but you have nothing to give me If you have something, please give me for this temple. At the time, Dubdi but has only thirteen kind with him. That is his only, whatever you may say, possession, wealth, property, money. Whatever you consider, that is only thirteen kinds. And. Dubdi but had given all of this thirteen kind to Bhagwan, and after receiving that thirteen kind, Bhagwan Swami Narayan himself says in in that assembly that now, today, right now, after I have received this thirteen kind, the temple is. built totally the construction of this temple is complete then somebody in from the assembly asked maharaj maharaj why before this dubri but that duty has given you 5000 rupees that duty had given you 1000 rupees 2000 rupees 4000 rupees but why you say that only after receiving this 13 kind the construction of uh, the construction is completed then maharaj narrated that he, that duty had given his contribution as 5000 rupees but ask him how many or how much money and wealth he had in his house he had given here 
only a part of his income. But ask Dubli Bhatt. After giving, after contributing his 13 coin here, now ask him what he had. Then Bhagwan himself says he has nothing now. Whatever his wealth or money or property, there's only this 13 kind and he has dedicated the 13, this 13 kind for construction of this temple. So he has dedicated everything. He had not kept even a single coin for himself and that is why this temple this all activities of this satsang is not merely going smooth or a temple can cons can be constructed merely by wealth of wealthy persons but such kind of work is done only and only when one fully dedicated. This is not a monument of donation, but this is a monument of dedication. In this way, Bhagwan himself describe the glory of Dubli Bhatt as well as a glory of 100% dedication. So let we just try to offer such kind of devotion to Bhagwan. If we cannot donate our own self to Bhagwan, our own life to Bhagwan, I mean in the service of Bhagwan, but whenever Bhagwan himself. Bhagwan himself asked us that you have to do this service for me. You have this thing, so please give me that thing. At that time, we should offer whatever Bhagwan requires or whatever Bhagwan asks from us. That will become our 100% devotion. In this way, let me pray to Bhagwan. Hey Maharaj, give me such intellect. I do not require or I do not wish anything other, but give me a good thought, good power of thinking, so that I can think for the form of Maharaj, Santo, and devotee. And also, I can also become a staunch devotee of you, like a Dubdi Bhatt, like a Dada Khachar, like a Muktanand Swami, Gopadanand Swami, like our Guruji. And in this way, I can offer, I can fully consume my life for the use of Bhagwan and Santo. That's it. Jai Swami Narayan. Hare Krishna Maharajani Jai Sri Patim Sri Dharam Sarvadeveswaram Bhakti Dhar Matmajam Vasudevam Madhavam Keshavam Kamadam Karanam Swamina Rayanam Nilakantham Bhaje Hare Krishna Maharajani Jai.